Yeah, we have an educational program. We teach a lot of different things. We try to get people into the rental side, but of course the glamorous one, they love the whole sailing, the whole tailing, the fix what, but we bring people on to try to educate them on um, the, the power of rentals or the advantages of owner financing, right? If you want to own or finance a property and sell it and get passive income that way too. You don't get to see tax advantages, but you do get some nice, you don't have to worry about tenants or toilets too. So for those people that don't want to worry about that at all, but the passive income, the best game. I'm not sure. Are you into cryptos at all? Do you buy anything by cryptos? A little, yeah, a little bit. I, I'm trying. I, sorry, I know I should learn how to. What was it called? Where like you, you staking them, make, staking them. Yep. I, I need to do that, but I just haven't haven't done that yet. <laughs> it's it's incredible what some of these pay. Uh, there's one, for example, persistence. It's a difficult one to get, but it pays 35. percent it's, it's amazing for two what? years, it pays 35% for two years. The next two years is 17 and a half percent. So oh let's my. say you, and you can, you could just compound it too. So let's say you put 150,000 into it and the price never changed over the course of the year, it didn't go up. You're going to have around 203,700 at the end of that year, passive income oh gain. So it's big. It's one that's, it's something that you want to take a look at and you being a passive income guy, I think you'll have some interest in it. And you want to learn more and want to talk more about it. We could do that offline as well. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Paul. Man, that's, that's mind blowing. 35%. Wow. That's few. You know, <laughs> some of them are around seven to 10 and three and five, but that's always, but they're still good. It's still better what you got in the bank. You know, it's a whole different oh, animal though. Whole different like asset 0. class. 0. 1. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Keep money in bank is a, is a loser's is a totally oh, a loser's no, yeah. game. Yeah, for I, sure. I, I basically, yeah, I basically try not to put any money in bank. I put it all in the real estate and crypto or you know uh, other things other than a bank because it's just losing money yeah totally now in in the passive income game with rentals is there a certain book you ever read that got you into that that piqued your interest into um doing rentals buy and hold as compared to any other type so the best one that really started me i'm pretty sure everybody's read it it literally started me i think i read it in 2005 was rich dad poor dad yeah and didn't necessarily like specifically go after Rental properties is more the overall picture. That's what yeah. really helped me to realize that there's another way to make money. Mm -hmm. Working one hour, getting paid for an hour is for the birds. Like stop doing yeah. that. So because of that, it helped me to realize, oh my goodness, there's another way. So I started looking into how to build passive income businesses, buying real estate and all that sort of stuff. And Rich Dad Poor Dad was definitely by far. Now, as far as figuring out how to uh, do real estate and rental properties, it wasn't any real estate book. Like honestly, I don't think I've ever even read I might be read part of like two or three books, like like mm -hmm. a section of them. I more did business books. I like I said from the very beginning, yeah. I'm very entrepreneurial, and so it's a business. Now, real yeah. estate, it's really just X, Y, and Z. Like my numbers. dad was a contractor. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's just numbers. My dad was a contractor. I've owned houses, a house to live in, and so like I could probably figure it out. So the hard part is not the the the, the buying of the real estate. That's the easy part. The hard yeah. part is running the business, making sure you have a business and all that sort of stuff. So I was always focused on the business aspect. And because of that, I like business has just been fantastic because I've set everything up beforehand and know that my property is my inventory, not my business. Yep. And that's the mindset you got to have with it is the most important. And Rich Dad was just one of the greatest books ever written. It does talk about passive income in there as well, too, but still my favorite real estate book. Uh, like you, I didn't do a whole lot of real estate books, more into the business sector as well, and mindset and different things like that. So, but that book is definitely one that if nobody in our audience has listened to it or read it, definitely read that one. Rich Dad Poor Dad is the greatest I'll, one. I'll give you, yeah, I'll give you another quick one that I love. It's an older book. It's called Richest Man in Babylon oh, by yeah. George S. Clausen. Mm -hmm. Love, love that book. It's a fictional book. I mean, it's a storytelling of something happened a long time ago, but it gives you financial principles that are just fantastic. You have to read that book, just like Rich Dad Poor Dad. Just put those two together. You're gonna be like, man, this is great. These are mindset books and then you have to have the right mindset in this business if you wanna be successful and do things the right way. Now.